Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thanks for being here. So today I decided to film this video doing a full face of Wet n Wild products. This is what the look came out like. I'm really enjoying it. I'm thinking it's a little springy. I mean, I'm not trying to jump into seasons, but it's a little springy, and I like it. So I just did my whole face with Wet n Wild products, and I told you guys what I liked and what I didn't like. Half of the products, I already know how I feel about them, and half of them were like first impressions, and I did try out some of their new releases. So I really hope you enjoy. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to my channel to join my squad. And if you guys want to see what I think of these products and you want to see this full face of wet and wild makeup, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's just get started. Um, I'm super stoked to be doing this video because, um, first of all, I love wet and wild. Second of all, it's very affordable. They have great products and there's a lot of new launches. So, um, I wanted to try it all out. Half of this face is actually first impressions. Um, I do own a lot of wet and wild stuff, but there's some stuff that I don't own. And like I said, there are some things that are like brand new. So I'm really excited. We're going to start out with the eyes because I have tried one of the eyeshadow palettes and it's good. It just has a little bit of fallout, but first I'm just going to not prime my face, but just get it ready. I've been using this little serum. Let me put it on real quick. I don't know if you guys can tell because of the lights, but I've been breaking out a lot around my mouth. And believe it or not, I think it's because I'm eating healthy. You know, when you start eating healthy, drinking a lot of water, your skin starts like detoxing. I think that's what's going on. But I've been using this, uh, it's called the Real You Control Face Gel. It's this bottle right here. My lights are way too bright. It's like not picking it up. <laughs> Anyways, um, like I said, I'm not using this as primer, but I've been using this before um, my makeup like every day. And it's actually helped like control my, um, my acne that I don't really get usually, but I've been getting a lot. And it also has been helping like my texture, which again, I don't have a lot of. So for today's eye look, which I still don't even know what I'm doing, um, I'm using this Wet n Wild new eyeshadow palette, and this is the one in Not A Basic Peach. <laughs> I like this name, that was weird. I do have this one, I actually just purchased it, but I did a Valentine's Day video with it, so I didn't want to bore you guys. So if you want to see this palette in action, check out my Valentine's Day video. So. We're gonna be using this one today, which I haven't tried. And I don't usually use eye primer, I just use concealer to prime my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. This is in light, medium beige, and I've actually never tried this either. So let me prime my eyes and then we can get started. Alrighty, eyes are primed and I did set it with a powder. I used their little fo Photo Focus powder. Yeah, but we'll talk about this later because I'm going to use that to set under my eyes. And I think today I'm going to do a halo eye because I love halo eyes. And I stopped doing them for a while because I didn't want to bore you guys, but it's been a minute. So I'm going to do a halo eye today. So these are the shimmery shades. Wow, these look really, really pretty. Look at that. OMG. I'm first going to go in with the transition shade and a little bit of that orange. And I'm just going to use my little NYX blending brush and I'm just going to put it all over my crease. These are very pigmented. They're just a little dusty. Like, you got to take a lot of the excess out. But they are very pigmented. So just be careful. That's why I'm doing my um, eyes first. But like I said, super pigmented. So far, it's looking really pretty. I'm just going to blow that out from inner to outer corner. And I'm also going to put a little bit on the inner and outer corner on the lid. And then with just like a more defined brush, this is actually Wet n Wild. I'm going to go back in with that orange, but not mix it with the crease, the transition shade anymore. I'm just going to deepen up the orange and I'm going to do it on the outer corners and also under the crease. I need to start watching my faces because I've gotten some comments about my faces, my makeup faces. Do you look pretty when you do your makeup? You don't know because you don't look at yourself doing your makeup. But when I'm editing videos, I'm like, dang, why am I making that face? But it's like, can you blame me? Now I'm actually going to stay with the same brush and this is going to be really scary, but I'm going to go in with this shade right here. So I'm going to take it really lightly, I'm gonna build it up. And I'm gonna do that 
like the same thing I did with the orange, just a little bit more defined and contained. I'm kind of tapping it first and then I'll blend a little bit. I don't want this to get like everywhere. And then always make sure to go back in with your crease shade and kind of just blend it out. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. Excuse me. It's my fault. I just snap chatted people and I get mad when they reply to me. So now I'm going to cut the crease. I'm just going to use the same um, little Wet n Wild concealer. I just forgot the word concealer. Since this is such a delicate matter, I'm going to be using my little Real Techniques the detailer brush. It's a tiny little brush. I'll be setting my lid with this shade. It's like a it's like a very rose gold peachy type deal. So I'm just gonna set that with a flat brush. I like it, it's a pretty shade, but I feel like it's not popping as much. So I'm gonna go in with the gold. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of tap it on top that way it's a little bit brighter yes yeah, see it already makes such a big difference i wanted to have a <sighs> so what i'm gonna do now is just take like a little just like a little defined brush and i'm just gonna go back to that really dark shade but i'm only gonna take a little bit and i'm just gonna blend out the edges I'm gonna use the little um, bone shade that it comes in. It's kind of like a satin shade, and I'm gonna put that underneath my brow, just to highlight. Okay, so then I'm gonna leave the eyes like this for now. Um, I do have the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It's a felt tip. This is what it looks like. Um, it's good, it's dark, it's black, and um, it's not tested on animals, which is nice. I'm not going to wing it out just because I've been winging it out a lot. So I'm just going to do a thin line just to get it ready for some lashes. I do like this liner. I actually have like a little, little bucket down here of things that I use all the time and I keep this in there. If you like felt tips, you would like this. It's really black. Um, but for lashes, I don't have any wet and wild lashes. That's the only thing. I don't have his lashes. I know Wet n Wild has lashes. Um, there actually weren't any at my CVS. And I didn't go try to find some just because I actually don't like them. I've tried them. They're just not like fluffy enough for me. Um, so I just, that's the only thing I don't have. I'm sorry. So I am going to keep it affordable and I'm just going to use my favorite Ardell lashes, the Mega Volume 250. All right. I'm going to let this eyelash glue dry a little bit and let's prime the face. This is a photo focus face primer dewy luminous luminous. I don't know how to say that. I'm, oh my god. Luminous. The what and what dewy luminous. I'm not going to say luminix because I know that's not you're not supposed to say that. Oh, it looks like it has a tint. This is what it looks like. All right, let's try it. Okay, so it's pretty thin, actually. It's not like a thick consistency. Oh, wow. It's putting a sheen. I don't think you can tell, but it's like, it has a lot of sheen. It is very sticky. I don't know if that's just my serum that I put on, or... I feel like this is pretty sticky, actually. Actually, it's very sticky. I look like the Tin Man. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Cushion Foundation. I try this out as well in my Valentine's Day video. I really enjoy it. I've been wearing it a lot lately. I do have um, Buff Beige. I like to use my little L'Oreal sponge that you guys always see me use. And I just like to dunk it. Dunk it and pounce. Dunk and pounce. Um, it has like a medium coverage. Uh, you, like you have to build it up for sure. But... After you do, it has a really nice finish. It's very lightweight. I really enjoy it. And I also noticed that it doesn't settle in my laugh lines as much as other foundations do because other foundations always do. So I really do like that about this. 
this primer is definitely like radiating through the foundation so I think it's really nice Alrighty, we are blended out. Um, I definitely don't recommend this if you have very oily skin. It is like a very luminous foundation. So now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. This is the first time I'm trying it other than like priming my eyes and I'm actually very excited. Oh, this is a pretty nice color. I'm going to the beach for two weeks, in like three weeks. And I'm going to the beach in three weeks, for two weeks, and I get very dark. Like I'm gonna be dark AF when I get back. And so I kind of didn't want to buy makeup right now because I know that this is all gonna be way too light for me in a couple weeks, but you know, I do it for you guys. I do it for you guys. This definitely dries pretty fast. I like this, this is pretty nice. Um, it's not full coverage for sure. But it is like a nice medium coverage and it's a good consistency. It's very, um, it's not thick, but it dries pretty fast and then it becomes thick, but it's not like heavy under the eye. So I'm actually going to set my under eyes with, um, this powder. They do have like a translucent powder, but it was really white and I'm scared of that. And I really wanted to try these little press powders. I've heard... Kathleen Lights and Tati Westbrook talk about them and they really like them. So I got the shade Warm Light, but this is what it looks like and it's very, very soft and I'm really excited to use it. Yeah, I feel like not a lot of product comes out of this, but I kind of like that about it because I feel like it's not cakey. Uh, I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just set my foundation a little bit. I actually usually don't set my foundations, but since this is a luminous, I think this one you really you need to set. So, so far so good. I'm gonna go into my favorite contour palette. You guys know this, Wet n Wild, Dulce de Leche. I love it, and I'm just gonna use this shade right here. This is like my third one. I just love it so much, and I'm just gonna contour. This product, is probably my favorite product out of Wet n Wild. I mean, I'm sure by now everyone's used it, but if you haven't, you need to. It's the softest, like it's even softer than Kat Von Deep um, Shade and Light. So I'm actually excited for the next product. I mean, I'm excited for all the products, but this is another one of their Photo Focus powders, but this is in the shade Coco, and I've seen people bronze with this. This is a very, very warm bronzer. Like, this is super, super tan. So I'm just gonna take this Morphe brush and I'm gonna go in pretty lightly because that's so weird. Like, I was barely picking up any product on the other, the warm light, but this one's coming out a lot. Let's see. Oh, this is actually a really nice color. This is really nice. I really like it. It actually doesn't look as orangey on the face. It just gives me like a really nice tan look. So I'm down for that. And for blush, you guys have seen me use this a bunch of times. I love it. This is the um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes in Mellow Wine. I feel like by now everybody knows how good they are. This is the shade right here. It's just such a pretty shade. It kind of goes with everything. That's why I like it so much. Um, I actually need to buy more of these because this is the only one I have, but I feel like since it goes with everything, that's why I don't mind, but I definitely need to go pick up more colors. The only thing is, very, very pigmented, so you gotta be careful with these a little bit. Oop. Okay. So before we do highlight, I do want to just finish out the lower lash line. What I'm gonna do is just kind of put that plum shade really close to my lash line and then blow it out with the orange shade. I actually have this from my $1 makeup video, which I've been getting so many views on, which also mean a lot of haters, but it's okay. Um, I actually am not the biggest fan of this. It's very watery, I don't think it builds up, but I'm just gonna use it on my lower lash line just to keep using Wet n Wild products. For highlights, I do have two highlights that y'all have seen me use before. Um, I have the one and only Precious Petals, and then I also have a Boozy Brunch, and I love this. I feel like no one talks about this anymore. Casey Holmes got me into this. Um, I'm gonna mix them because this one's really blinding, but this one's more gold, and I want it to match. So I'm first gonna go in with this one. And like always, 
I'm using my Wet n Wild highlighter brush that I love so much and I can just rave about it right now because we're in a Wet n Wild video. This is so nice. This is actually the one that came in the pack of like 10 brushes for $30. I have a whole video on that if you're interested, but um, this is just my favorite. This is so good. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna glow, baby. I'm just gonna glow. This is one little layer of it. And then I'm gonna go in with Boozy Brunch and I'm just gonna top that off so it's more gold and less like peachy. And this one's pretty blinding as well. I'll tell you that. It's just a little bit chunkier, but I like it. And they're both so affordable. For lips, I'm gonna be using their Wet n Wild Lip Gel Liner. These are very, very nice. Um, this is in the shade Bare to Comment, and it's just a nude retractable shade. It's very pink. This is what it looks like, and I'm just gonna line my lips. This lip liner is not even going to match my lipstick, but it was the only nude that I could find. And for lipstick, I'm using their Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild, Liquid Cat Suit. A lot of you guys ask me, what's your go-to lip at all times, no matter what product, what color, it's this. And I've mentioned it a couple times, but I keep getting questions, and it's this, guys. This is my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick of all time. Alrighty guys, and this is the final result. Um, I really, I ended up liking a lot of these products. Um, like I said, the foundation I've liked for a minute now. The concealer is okay. I'm not sure if it's the setting powder or the concealer, but I'm looking really dark under my eyes. I don't think you can tell with these lights. But it's just not my favorite. I'm definitely gonna have to keep uh, testing this product out because obviously a lot of these were first impressions. But I really enjoyed um, this bronzer for sure. And then of course the eyeshadow. I mean, look at it. I hope it was helpful. I hope that this is helping your little wet and wild shopping list. Really quickly, I do want to say um, I do love shopping at Ulta for makeup because they have really good reward system. But I love shopping at CVS for drugstore makeup mainly because I, this is just, I'm just sharing with you guys because some of you guys ask me like where I like shopping the most for makeup. Y'all, CVS is where it's at. Get you a CVS card and you're going to get coupons like this long and I had a coupon that was like $10 off $40 for anything and then I went to get Wet n Wild makeup and then Wet n Wild makeup was buy one get one 50% off. So I got a huge deal on this makeup and they just have really good reward system as well so i definitely recommend you guys shopping at cvs for drugstore makeup don't sleep on cvs by the way this video is sponsored by cvs thank you guys so much for working i'm just kidding guys i wish i was sponsored by cvs are you kidding me anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video like always you know to comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next let me know what you thought of this look and yeah guys, I really hope you're having an awesome day or night, wherever you are. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye.